Okay, let's do the big eye now. We've been talking a lot about conservation, green energy, all of that. I want to talk to you about an electric vehicle charger. You've seen some of these uh, around uh, places. Hey, I'm just going to show you this a little bit. This is how, this is how just a regular car that we have, the one that uses combustible gas. You put it in, you put the gas in, and then the red line here, and then it goes to a combustion engine, right? Okay, so this is what happens with an electric car. You have a household plug or a plug somewhere where you, in case you're running out of energy, you can go plug it in. You plug it in and it goes to a battery first, which is rechargeable. Then it goes to the controller and from the controller, it goes to the electric motor. So that's supposed to be able to conserve energy and all of our fossil fuels, as they say. Let's walk over here and talk to this gentleman who, uh, his name is Andy Kennard, and you are the person who came up with this. You're the president of Car Charging, uh, the Car Charging Group. So tell us, this is, is this it? How does this happen? Do you, you can, what do you do with that thing? Well, this is a uh, combination 220 volt charger and 110 volt charger. Okay. I'm not sure if, uh, if you've ever seen the movie, Who Killed the Electric Car? Yeah, yeah part, I have actually. Part of the issue was that uh, every individual car had its own individual car charger. So uh, that was part of the reason for the demise of the electric vehicle industry about eight years ago. Because the thing I was showing there that I showed uh, in, in, in the wall back there was like you have a big charger at your house or then you have there's like a big charger somewhere and you have to go to these certain places. This one works more like a traditional gas station where you can go and just charge it, st plug it in. For exactly. A while. The industry standardized the charger. You can see this is something called the J1772. Uh, yeah. Every charger, every 220 volt charger will, uh, will be equipped with this. Every car that's produced from this point forward will be able to accept the J1772, just like gas pumps work now. Um, this is a public charger, so what that means is um, it's got a cell phone in it. It's talking to the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're driving around in your electric car and you need a charge, you can look on uh, Google Maps, you can look on uh, there's iPhone applications that can help you find this, uh, all different types of smartphone applications. So once you find it, um, you can use a credit card, or this is actually a, a membership card. It's going to send a signal to make sure that this is an actual um, authenticated card. Uh, the 110 volt charger has just opened, so if your card, if you want to charge with 110 volts, well, you can you plug can it in there, or you just put that in your car and it starts charging so, at 220. And real quickly, so charge, here's, this is my question. Am I standing there forever to get this to charge like my cell phone when it runs out? I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? Is it a, is it a quick thing? No, it's not, it's not that quick. I would say three or four hours depending on the car. Hours. So what we, put, what we did was we put these in places where cars are going to be standing anyway, okay. or we put them in places where you wouldn't mind killing an hour or two. Parking garage, maybe when you get in your car wash. Shopping, shopping centers, shopping things shopping like center, that. When yeah. you're getting your car tuned up or fixed or whatever. Thank you, Andy Kennard, president of Car Charging Group. Thank you very much. It's very interesting. You're going to see this is maybe one day going to become, you know, sort very of the soon. status quo yep. very soon, we hope. Thank you very much.